What I'm going to do today is going to be very different, perhaps, for some of you. It might be something you might like, you might, you might not like it. All I'm going to ask you to do is just stay open-minded and take in as much of this as you possibly can. I uh, want to tell you about two groups just briefly. There's two associations. One is called the American Guild of Organists. It's, it's a national and an international association of professional organists and choir directors. The other is the New York Theater Organ Society, uh, which is a preservation society. This, what you see before you, is a theater organ. Now, and I'm going to come back to this in a moment, but at one time, all the movie theaters had an organ like this in it. You know, what in the world for? I'm going to talk about that in just a second, okay? This one is a theater organ, and it's also a classical organ. Most people think, say, oh, it's a church organ. It's really a classical organ. And the way they accomplished that is it's a digital computer organ. They went to a real pipe organ, and they recorded the sounds and en encoded them on a computer chip. So this is going to sound like a real pipe organ. Um, I'm not going to do too much talking right now. Let me just play you one piece. The first piece I'm going to play for you, I'm going to use the theater side of the organ. It's called Root Be a Rag by Billy Joe. It's nothing more but a big keyboard only made for your feet. And the way it works is very simple. If you're playing the manuals, these keyboards are technically called manuals. Each one's a manual. You've got 10 contact points to accomplish that. When you play on the pedal board, you play using your heel and toe. So there's only four contact points that you can use. So what they did is these kind of weird looking shoes are organ shoes. And they're, it's basically like a regular shoe, except there's some changes. It's very tapered. There's no sole sticking out, all right, so that you don't get stuck in between the notes. The sole of the shoe is made of a, like a suede, which is very smooth, so I can slide from one note to the other. And the heel has been extended a little bit so that you can play using your heel and toe. The way I used the pedal board on the first piece of music was the bass line, OK? So, do we have any electric bass players in here, or tuba players, or low brass players? Okay, so that's what I was doing um, with my feet. But I'm going to change that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the melody with my feet. So, there's a piece I'd like to do for you. I'm going to switch this over to the classical organ side. The piece is called the Jig Fugue by Bach. And let me explain what a fugue is, first of all. When we were real little kids, you remember maybe in grammar school, you, were, you would sing, uh, row, row, row your boat, and one group would start it, and then the next group would start it, and the next group would start it, would layer one over the other. That's like a round. A fugue is kind of the same thing. What you're going to hear is this little melody. It goes like this. <laughs> That little melody you're going to hear over and over again. And this was originally called Fugue in G Major. But then it got a nickname, the Jig Fugue, because that does kind of sound like an Irish jig, doesn't it? When I play it with my feet, it looks like you're dancing the jig. So I got a nickname of the Jig Fugue. So 
choir members, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. The tenors start the melody, the tenor voice, then the altos, then the sopranos, and when the bass part comes in, that's when you play with your feet. The Jig Fugue by Bob. <laughs> Thank you.